Nothing better, I reckon. <laughs> I think we'll get off from that. Let's be yeah. talking to this lady here. Hi, you're alive on the Steve Wright Show at the moment. What's your name? Carol. Carol, what are you going to do when Bross arrives? Scream. Yeah? If I get close enough, tell him I love him. Steve, with that sincere yep. moment, let's uh, go back live to the studio. <laughs> this is Simon Bates. I'm in the skinny side of us. Live oh. in Radio 1. <laughs> <laughs> Simon Bates is the man. Simon Bates really good singer. I'm for some brossettes, it was all too much. Kirsty Farrell and Jenny Berry from Ipswich, overcome by the emotion and the crush, had to have five minutes rest on a sofa in the reception of Broadcasting House. They decided to travel to London after watching the telly this morning. We heard about it on Buckfest this, this morning. It's a long way to come. Nothing to see them. We travel them around quite often. How far have you travelled to see Bross then? Everywhere. Seriously everywhere. Wherever they are, then we see them. Well, Newsbeat Sybil Rusco is with the fans outside Broadcasting House. What's happening, Sybil? Well, the scenes out here are just amazing. The big news is that Bross, the boys, are at the Radio 1 studios. Matt, Luke and Craig have just appeared at a window of the Radio 1 building. They've thrown out photographs, signed photographs to the girls outside, and they're going absolutely wild. They're all here in the jeans, the leatherette jackets, and, of course, those red and white scarves tied at the neck. It's just terrific scenes out here, a great way for Radio 1 to to celebrate the first day of the big stereo switch on in the north the midlands and scotland tonight really outside radio one screams smiles and swoons outside the radio one studios ross mania hitting central london and keep listening because matt luke and craig should be on with bruno in around an hour's time that's it from us though we're back at 6 30. thank you